when you look at the almanac of the federal judiciary, lawyers anonymously rate judges in terms of temperament. And here's what they said about you. She's a terror on the bench. She's temperamental, excitable. She seems angry. She's overly aggressive, not very judicial. She does not have a very good temperament. She abuses lawyers. She really lacks judicial temperament. She believes in an out of control, she behaves in an out of control manner. She makes inappropriate outbursts. She is nasty to lawyers. She will attack lawyers for making an argument she does not like. She can be a bit of a bully. When you look at the evaluation of the judges on the Second Circuit, you stand out like a sore thumb in terms of your temperament. What is your answer to these criticisms? I do ask tough questions at oral argument. Are you the only one that asks tough questions in oral argument? No, no, not at all. Um, I can only explain what I'm doing, which is when I ask lawyers tough questions, it's to give them an opportunity to explain their positions on both sides and to persuade me that <clears throat> they're right. I do know that in the Second Circuit, because we only give litigants 10 minutes of oral argument each, that the processes in the Second Circuit are different than in most other circuits across the country. And that some lawyers do find that our court, which is not just me, but our court generally is described as a hot bench. It's a term of art lawyers use. It means that they're peppered with questions. Lots of lawyers who are unfamiliar with the process in the Second Circuit find that tough bench difficult and challenging. If I may interject, Judge, they find you difficult and challenging more than your colleagues. And the only reason I mention this is it it stands out when you, you know, there are many positive things about you, and these hearings are, are, are designed to talk, talk about the good and the bad, and I, I never liked appearing before a judge that I thought was a bully. Uh, it's hard enough being a lawyer, having your client there to begin with, without the judge just beating you up for no good reason. Do you think you have a temperament problem? No, sir. I can only talk about what I know of my, my relationship with the judges of my court and with the lawyers who appear regularly from our circuit. And I believe that my reputation is, stu is such that I ask the hard questions, but I do it evenly for both sides. In, in fairness to you, there are plenty of statements in the record in support of you as a person that, that do not go down this line. But I would just suggest to you, for what it's worth, Judge, as you go forward here, that these statements about you are striking. They're not about your colleagues. You know, the 10-minute rule applies to everybody. And that, you know, obviously you've, you've accomplished a lot in your life, but maybe these hearings are time for self-reflection. This is pretty tough stuff that you don't see from uh, about other judges on the Second Circuit.